Hello, Temple friends, and welcome to the third season of TempleCast. I'm Jim Gennady, pastor of Temple United Methodist Church in North Coventry Township, Pennsylvania, and this is episode 23. Alleluia! The Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us adore him. O be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. Alleluia! The Lord is risen indeed. Here is a prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Here is a reading from Mark, chapter 7, verses 1 through 13. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it, And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, pots, and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites. As it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Then he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother. And whoever speaks evil of father or mother must surely die. But you say that if anyone tells father or mother, Whatever support you might have had from me is korban, that is, an offering to God, then you no longer permit doing anything for a father or mother thus making void the word of God through your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many things like this. Here is a prayer of Lady Lucy Herbert, a member of the Order of English Canonesses and a devotional writer who lived from 1669 to 1744. Let us be yours, O God. Let us not draw back from you, neither from your presence nor from your cross. Touch our hearts and make them holy. Consecrate our lives and enlist them in your service. Amen. Our next reading today comes from 1 Peter from chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. Rid yourselves of all malice and all guile, insincerity, envy, and all slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture, See, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you, then, who believe, he is precious. But for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner, and a stone that makes them stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word, as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, 
in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. And here is a prayer of Christina Rossetti, an Italian poet whose work includes the lyrics to the Christmas hymn In the Bleak Midwinter. Lord Jesus Christ, wisdom and word of God, dwell in our hearts, we pray, by your most Holy Spirit, that out of the abundance of our hearts our mouths may speak your praise. Amen. And our final reading today comes from John chapter 15. We'll hear verses 1 through 11. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. And we'll close with this prayer of benediction from the website dailyprayer.us. And now, as a little child, let me abide in you all this day, O Christ, so that when you appear I may have confidence and not shrink from you in shame at your coming. For I know that you are righteous, and I am sure that I will be made righteous only by my life in you. Amen. Thank you for listening. Temple Church meets every Sunday for worship at 10.30 a.m. at our North Coventry location, the corner of Temple and Unionville Roads. Our services are recorded live and then posted to our Facebook page. You can find past services as well as all back episodes of this podcast on that page as well. We'll be back with you next week. Until then, grace and peace to all.